Indie games have been on a rampage recently, it's no secret that they're leading the gaming industry as we speak, so here's a lot of new indie games that you have to look forward that might kill AAA games. First of all, we have Kingmakers, what a surprise this new indie game is, in a time where most if not every single game is following a trend and trying to get money out of it, well this weird and ambitious medieval project is trying something new, and it is all about having pure fun. What if the medieval times had modern weapons and vehicles? What would have changed if a mysterious man took a time machine from the future and decided to go back in time with objects from his time period? Well, you can look forward to exactly this in Kingmakers, a war-torn medieval shooter where a time-traveling man takes the crown and leads an army to victory. Each battle you engage in runs as a fully real-time simulation with thousands of soldiers fighting at the same time. Every soldier on the battlefield is controlled by a next-gen multi-traded AI which controls their decision-making, pathfinding and loyalty. This, combined with a unique procedural animation system, is said to allow kingmakers to offer an unprecedented level of character and combat fidelity, change the past to save the post-apocalyptic future. Next up we have The Explorator, a beautiful and serene first person game where you can explore beautiful castles, super cute environments and oh, I forgot to say it's also a brutal FPS. <laughs> This one is looking awesome, as an explorer, you take your courage in both hands to set foot on the most dangerous island in the known world, Ospolis. You'll prepare yourself well as many challenges and obstacles await you. Legend has it that the ancient city of Atlantis lies beneath this island, which has been suddenly invaded by goblins and monsters that have emerged from the bowels of underground tunnels bored by unwary explorers confident of finding this famous city. You'll have to traverse the region zone by zone to make contact with these demon encircled explorers and help them solve the mystery of the attack. Next up we have the brutal and disgusting horror FPS game Ill. Man this game is really a long time coming. People have been begging for a new reveal of this game for months. If you've been following the team's Patreon, you'd see Ill is still in amazing shape and is still being developed in secrecy as we speak. The team want to make a big reveal when it will be fully ready and good enough to do so, but the premise this game has is truly ambitious. It promises an in-depth dismemberment and gore system never seen before in other games, also photorealistic graphics and a terrifying story and environments. It's a survival horror shooter featuring various weapons and enemies. The core gameplay experience is emphasized by realistic effects such as gore, sound, physics and special visual effects for an immersive shooting experience. It is not Doom though. The player won't be a killing machine. The game has the voice actor from Resident Evil, which is Leon, as the main protagonist in and Lorne making the soundtrack. The dome. It might be your only way down.
Hey everyone, my name is Leo and I'm the lead developer of a new action-adventure game Ferocious. I began working on Ferocious a few years ago with the idea of creating a first-person shooter in a timeless Lost World type of setting, combining all the top action with exploration and a sense of wonder. We were always inspired by mysterious places frozen in time that you may have seen in movies like King Kong and Jurassic Park. We aim to marry the setting and its unique gameplay opportunities with classic first-person shooter mechanics, similar to early installments of franchises like Far Cry and Crisis. The flexibility of the Unity engine allows us to create unique solutions to some of the environmental features, such as custom water effects and realistic vegetation. We use a mix of photo-scanned and handcrafted assets to create a world both scary and beautiful. However, there are some things waiting for you in the jungle that we couldn't find any reward references for. Soviet Improvise. Hey, are you listening to me? Sure, I, I am. 
You're hearing me. You ain't listening. I'll leave off, Granger. Look at him, or I'll make you. Boy, calm down, will you? All right, I'm looking. What did I say then, eh? Look for the paint. That's it. That painted armor. Bloody savages, didn't I say? Yeah, you said it, Granger. Get off him. Oh, you think he's got blight? Sometimes it's harder to spot, yeah? Gets in your veins first. Clogs up your brain. They're infected before you know it. He's dead. Poor bastard reeks. Probably dead for days. You're new to this. It only gets worse after they're dead. Yeah, makes you almost sorry for him. My ass doesn't feel too sorry. Keep looking. <laughs>
After the abolishment of nuclear power, old mining complexes were reopened across to the country. To reduce our international affairs, and focus on our own country. Phoenix Corporation representatives assure the walls were built for our own safety. started with a scientific expedition to the planet Turion, where the New Horizons Corporation was hoping to find new life forms. If only they knew back then what evil they would bring to Earth. A data leak started to spread, revealing that New Horizons was conducting military experiments crossbreeding the human genome with alien DNA. And so, the nightmare began. Now, competing megacorps all over the world are sending mercenaries to retrieve this research data by all means necessary. That's where we come in.
As your combat AI, I have to warn you that pressing the wrong floor may lead to unexpected consequences. Who the fuck are you? this time.
Oh le nul Ah oh, je te bag au-dessus de lui là Let's 
Dr. Newton, your truth bombardier here. We got us a kind of a clown invasion I thought only happened in Nevada deserts. The things a clown can do to a person's body, folks. It's depraved. It's disgusting. And often mighty creative. They got big shoes for a reason, folks. Don't make a ruckus. Those bat ear bastards gonna hear you coming a mile away. Teamwork is life, amigos. And you have to stay alive to win. Hell yeah! <laughs> 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 You want to kill those clowns, make like a Beverly Hills surgeon and give those real clown wives a nose job. <laughs> clowns are here. Clowns are now. <laughs> Welcome to Endswell Medical. It is with great pleasure I introduce Director Coleman. Thank you and welcome to all of you who are starting your own franchises. Today, I'm here to talk about building a thriving business. My apologies. There has been a development that requires my immediate attention. Janine. Of course, Director. Our apologies for the interruption. Let us continue with the presentation. In choosing to become a franchisee of Enswell Medical- Director Coleman, sir, we're hearing- In which, of course, we can provide significant support, such as the opening of your new offices. Our technology infrastructure is superior to all our competitors and will be of great value to the upgrading of your medical equipment, research facilities, power all hanging in there, the extent of the outbreak, into new areas of research, whilst simultaneously continuing to produce a range of medicines for your clients, ensuring... Especially Director Coleman, we wish to thank you for your support and welcome you aboard.